Solomon's Vegas Adventures. What's going on everybody? Solomon here with another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures. Today we're going to explore the Red Devil Mine and Ghost Town, an abandoned mine and ghost town out here in northern Nevada by this place called Biowale. So let's do it. So Biowale is located about 45 miles west of Elko, just off the I-80. So to get there, take I-80 west, get off at exit 261 for Biowale and Crescent Valley, drive down that road for about 5-ish miles, and once you get to the town with the river, that's Biowale. So we're here at stop one of uh, our Biowale adventure. There's Felix right there. And uh, <laughs> we're at this old graveyard, which... Uh, Apparently it's pretty historic, so let's go check it out. So apparently Biowale was the site of a bunch of massacres between settlers moving west and Native Americans here. And uh, it was a stop on the California Trail for a lot of people going west, um, you know, for the California Gold Rush. And this is just a cemetery that kind of shows different people that were here. And Biowale has an interesting etymology. Um, apparently it means large posterior in the Shoshone language. So, damn girl, you got a nice Biowale. Yeah, maybe I'll cut that part out. This is a very old grave, as you can see, wooden headstone. There's no date on it, but uh, this town was, uh, I guess, first settled in the 1800s, um, you know, as people were going west for the California Gold Rush. And uh, yeah, this might date back then. It's pretty old. Just more graves here. Dating back to the late 1800s, early 1900s mainly. And, uh, yeah. Can't even like see. See if there's anything. Ooh, apparition. Oh, it's the other way now. You probably can't see. Ooh, creepy. Yep, you can't see. So we are here at the Red Devil Mine, right outside Biowale, Nevada. And we're gonna go rock hounding for some cinnabar, which is a mercury sulfide mineral. And yes, it is toxic. Uh, mercury is toxic. But there are a number of precautions that you can take when rock hounding for it. I brought rubber, disposable gloves, and Ziploc bags, so I will keep the samples just in a Ziploc bag. Um, and yeah, the uh, Red Devil Mine is an old mercury mine right outside of Biowale here. And uh, pretty historic. Let's check it out. And let's rock hound. So here we can see the tailings of the mine. So there's James right there right above what looks like an old portal of some sort. Um, don't know if this is actually part of the mine or part of like a milling part of the mine. It looks more like a milling thing. Uh, we got old wooden stuff up there and we got like tailings right there and Felix right there. <laughs> so uh, let's keep going, let's keep checking it out. Looking through some of the tailings here, you can see that all of this rock here is kind of cataclastic. Looks like a chert, limestone maybe, that's been like shattered and re-put together like a conglomerate or a breccia. Um, and mercury and other sulfide minerals love breccia. So all of this breccia that you can see with all these clasts, it's a good sign, good indicator for sulfide mineralization. So even here, like this black stuff, all of that, that's a uh, oxide, iron oxide, and other metal oxide that is a uh, part of a breccia mineralization system. So pretty interesting. Here's some old building foundations, probably related to milling or something. And here we're starting to see a lot of that cinnabar See all that red? That's all cinnabar, all mercury sulfide ore. So there's still a lot that you can find in the tailings here if you're a rock hound. Uh, remember, it is toxic, so do with that as you will. Um, 
those old aluminum cans and stuff. Find a piece, oh man, that is something you don't want to do. <laughs> and if you look down at the rocks here, you can see how the cinnabar crystallizes in this cataclastic limestone breccia. Um, you can see those maroon crystals right there. Those are, that's cinnabar, that's mercury sulfide. Yeah, so this is probably an old processing facility here at this mine, which was operational in the late 1800s and 1900 and early 1900s. Hard to tell. Hard to tell what it is, but it seems like the main mine is up there. So uh, let's check it out. Now this piece right here is a very, very nice specimen of cinnabar. See that maroon reddish color? It's pretty cool. Yep. And as you guys can see, we're almost up here to the mine and it's snowing out here. Sun's about almost out. Good views, cool snow. Oh yeah. What's the discovery you made, Felix? It's an adit. An adit, huh? Yeah. Oh shoot, it is an adit. We add it now. Ooh. I almost just died. Trash. Just kidding. <laughs> so, this is a portal to an it to the Red Devil Mine. And as you can see, faults, breccia, intrusive rock right there, limestone here, intrusive there, contact metamorphism, great zone for sulfide mineralization. And you can even see some remnants of some cinnabar mineralization right there in the whole, outside of the mine whole lot of nerds <laughs> you know it and they have uh sealed up the mine with gates so that people can't go in or as james was saying was it to keep whatever's in there out in there what or whatever <laughs> yeah i don't remember <laughs> to keep what's in there in there yeah yeah and at the very back you can see light it's probably a ventilation hole or something further back there. It's probably where it's streaming in or a shaft or something. But uh, yeah, Mercury. And speaking of Mercury, a lot of people tell me I look like Freddie Mercury with his mustache. Hmm. So this isn't Mercury, but that purple right there, that's Jasper. And uh, Carlin type gold deposits are famous for their Jasper and Jasperoid. There's Jasper right there. So pretty cool. What do we have up there? Let's see. Got a couple things. Couple oh. things. Well, holy cow. We have found a couple holes here. I think only that one goes down. Uh, that one goes right through on the left. Oh, shoot. Wow. <laughs> yeah, some deep holes out here in the Red Devil Mine. If you look over here, this is a volcanic butte. This is the source of that magmatic reservoir that acts as a conduit to bring the sulfide mineralization up here into this sedimentary system. So, Mercury is in retrograde. So this must have been the main mine. And then all the tailings and stuff are over here. So they must have extracted the ore from in here, in that shaft, and then brought it all out over here. Yeah, and that's a pretty big shaft. That's what she said. And you see some of that mercury ore over there, some cinnabar nope. left over. But in that face. Yeah, in that face right there. And it follows this fault. Yep. Nice views out here. Especially with the sun snow. I don't know, is there a word for that? But yeah. Midday flurries midday flurries i guess pretty dope now time to go rock hunting got my gloves because ppe mercury yeah let's go all right my friends i have uh looked around in this tailing pile here found some cool stuff want to show you guys i was wearing gloves the entire time because i don't i don't mess with toxic substances man like i don't i don't want that on my skin you know what i mean but anyways PPE has been properly disposed of. I'm excited to show you what I found. Let's do it. I wanna show you guys this first. This 
white piece right here is a piece of marble which has been contact metamorphosed between the limestone and the intrusive in that hill back there that you guys saw. And these purple veins in this marble are veins of cinnabar, which is that mercury sulfide mineral. Um, down here, we have cinnabar right there, right there. And then we have iron oxide nodules, which is really cool. It gives the rock like a polka dot looking texture. We've got more cinnabar here, that bright red. Uh, cinnabar can be bright red or purple um, or maroon or whatever. It's, it's usually around there and it's pretty dense, pretty heavy. So these specimens were quite heavy in relation to the other rocks. Um, and then here we've got botryoidal crystals right there, the little ball looking things, pretty cool. We come up here and we have these chunks. Look at these really cool patterns that the minerals make of like, sorrels and all that that purple stuff is probably a mix of cinnabar and uh iron and uh all that we've got another rock here and then over here this red one right here that is the rock that has the highest concentration of mercury it's the heaviest it's the densest and as you can see it's pretty small and it's a lot heavier and denser than it should be then right here we've got more of those really cool swirly patterns I don't even know what necessarily uh, that is. My guess is that it's a mix of mercury and iron or some amalgam of that. But those swirls, I think, probably came in because of the movement of the magma. That is what I would postulate, although I can't definitively tell you that. Um, and then just more cinnabar specimens here. These uh, cinnabar specimens, these three are kind of superficial on top of the limestone. It's not like a huge chunk of cinnabar. It's just kind of surface stuff. Um, probably a mix of iron oxide and a lot of those too. But those are some of the rocks that I've found here. Um, and it's a really interesting place geologically. You can see it for yourself. I mean, mercury is poisonous, but we're out here. It's well ventilated. Um, you know, I wore gloves because I don't want to take any chances. Even though technically mercury in cinnabar is uh, it's, it's stuck in the crystal structure of the mercury and the sulfur. Um, so as long as you don't burn it or vaporize it or whatever, you're, you're fine because it stays in the crystal structure. But I just want to be super cautious. But again, guys, really cool specimens. Pretty dope. Um, yeah. And here are some very nice specimens of cinnabar. You can see that red. Yup. Very cool. Noise. Noise. And that is a very, very nice specimen. You can see the cinnabar there and that swirly stuff. And it's surrounded by purple jasper, which is super, super dope. Great find, James. Oh, man. <laughs> Now that's football. <laughs> and here we have the last leg of our Red Devil adventure. This old ghost town here near Biowawe. Look at these abandoned buildings. Let's go check it out. Wow, that echoed. Wow, look at this house. Yeah, this is indeed a public health hazard. Who wants some free hantavirus? Wow. Look at these rusty nails. Get some tetanus, too. Wow. Cheers. Who the f is partying out here? Weirdos. <laughs> All right, let's see some other houses around here. What is this, an old town? This is a ghost town. By all means. Yeah, here's some more stuff. Yikes. Old building. Wow. 
Huh. How old do you guys think this uh, town is? 1950s. Cool. I agree with you. I have no uh, expertise on this, so sure. Oh, look. Can be turned into a sled. Probably 50s and 60s, probably. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, look at all these old houses over here. Old bed spring. Lots of old stuff. Yeah, this roof collapsed in on this one, as you guys can plainly see. Trash and stuff in there. Yeah. Old houses. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yep. Oh wow, very neat. Let's see. Yeah, this is in someone's old house. We got rooms. Walk in here, take a look, see? Disgusting. Old mattresses, old cabinets, roof. Yeah. Somebody's old house, gone now. Huh. Floor is falling apart. Floor is falling apart. Bathrooms back there, probably. Oh, here's an old can of beef stew. Huh. That's pretty OG. It is OG. Dinty Moore beef stew. Yeah, they still sell that, but obviously not in this. It's got a uh, date on it. Yeah. Let's see. Austin, Nevada. That's nearby. Um, hmm. I can't see a date. Here's an old magazine. Maybe this will give us a clue. November 2001. November 2001, huh? Yeah, you can see it right there. So this obviously was brought in well after this place was abandoned. Let's talk turkeys. <laughs> Let's talk turkeys. Thanksgiving. I wonder what's in the classified. Singles. Meet single people throughout rural America. Confidential, repeatable, free details. Should we email them? <laughs> Piano tuning haze. Lonely? Meet your dream girl. 993 dream 37326 $3 a minute 18 plus number one chat line girl only 5 cents a minute What you doing over there James? Just trying to find the love of my life From that uh, singles ad in the paper Classified 2001 you She might it. be 21 years older now but love doesn't have an age limit <laughs> So that website is still up huh? Still going Still going strong Meet your conscious partner here. Look, they even got like the 2001 goatees on the rock. <laughs> oh my God. Hell yeah. Wow, this place is uh, trashed. It's an old plunger cap. There's a bunch of crap here. Oh, here's an old can. Let's see. Oil roasting. That's coffee. Uh, 1878? No, established 1878. Uh, man, I can't see a date on that, but this whole place is just trashed. And then there's an old couch over there, looks like. Been succumbed to the elements, or I guess succumbed to the elements. Yeah, more couches and stuff over there. Abandoned. Spring bed, huh? What about a summer bed? Or a winter bed? Hot boy summer. <laughs> yeah. Got some stuff over here, another old cottage. Yeah, there's still a mattress in there. Yeah, interestingly enough. And then over here, yeah, there's still like rugs and stuff. And this place has been looted, abandoned. And uh, this is like the last little edifice, in this little old ghost town. Very small. It's like a cottage of some sort, maybe a supply closet, who knows. But yeah, this is that red devil town, baby. That's pretty much the town, guys. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures. If you enjoy content like this, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And check out some of our other adventures right here. As always, guys, peace!